Good afternoon, everyone. A very welcome to the last lecture of this one week international workshop. And without wasting any time, now may I request Dr. Yasha Hasija, coordinator of the workshop, to please introduce our expert for the hour, Dr. Muhammad Inkel. Ma'am, please. A very good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the last session of this one week international e workshop on bioinformatics. And I'm glad to be introducing the last expert of for, for this session, Dr. Mohammed Imtiaz Hassan, Assistant Professor and Group Leader, Structural Biology Laboratory, Jamia Milia Islamia, Delhi, India. Dr. Hassan has earned his doctorate with a gold medal from AIMS, New Delhi in 2007. He is a prestigious alumnus of Aligarh Muslim University for his bachelor's and master's, both gold medals. In his career down the lane, he has published 295 of total publications to his name, which include 242 research papers, 40 review papers, and 13 book chapters. He is an outstanding record of his citations, counting to 5,300 in number, to his work. He was recently awarded the best oral presentation in the second Asia-Pacific Cardiometabolic Syndrome Congress 2019 at Seoul, Korea, Outstanding Researcher in Biophysics by Venus International Healthcare Awards, VHA 2018, and Top 10 Most Outstanding Researchers in the Field of Biochemistry, Genetics, and Molecular Biology by Career 360. Dr. Hassan has a long list of awards and honors with it, including Fellow of Indo-US Science and Technology Forum, the Royal Society of Biology, FRSB, London, has given due recognition to him for his contribution to medical research enabling therapeutic management of cancer and neurodegenerative diseases. His lab focuses on the topics like high school screening for identification of novel inhibitors, experimental variation of high affinity inhibitors of protein kinases, understanding the mechanism of protein folding and dynamic behavior of potential drug targets. I now invite Dr. Hassan to take over his session on methods and protocols in structure-based drug design and discovery. Sir, please. Thank you, Dr. Hasija, for inviting me to such a prestigious workshop that we have organized. And first of all, I would like to congratulate you that uh, using the pandemic timing, you have organized such a fantastic uh, workshop. I saw the list of speakers. In fact, uh, around the world, you have invited the best person so that the in that way the student can get benefited and I, I hope that all the participant have benefited very well so i think it is the last one so sometime last one is very good and sometime last one is boring but i don't know i hope you will enjoy my talk because i'm going to give you the very basic uh, highlights on the, how to use the actually drug discovery tools and after that i will give you insights into the one of the docking tool that we have developed in my lab so I'll give you how to use it and that is the one of the game changer in the field of drug discovery because this tool is very easy to use highly I mean anyone can use earlier people from the non bioinformatics background have a perception that for the talking you have to go somewhere you have to collaborate with someone you have to ask someone and people always have problem you know what is helping me and all that so now we have developed tool in such a way that anybody can use so I'll give you some insight into that uh, docking tool. So let's start from the beginning. So Dr. Yasha, it is visible? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to talk about the structure-based drug design and discovery and I hope that in the meantime after get, uh, listening all the lectures you are familiar with all these things that the what is the structure-based drug design and discovery but I'll start from the very scratch that if you see the method of drug discovery that uh, <clears throat> if you talk about the method of drug discovery People are using from the ancient time, from the evolution of human being, people trying to survive. And in that context, they always try to find, discover the new molecule for the therapeutic perspective. So if you go to the history, initially people used the herb, 
herbal products and whatever the benefit they feel from that product that uh, yeah, just a minute i think there is some transition time set so so people use the so many formulations and they found effective for the like the analgesic antipyretic anti inflammatory and all these medicinal things for, were developed from the ancient time and people are using but due to the advent of chemistry as the chemi chemistry get get more advanced then just a minute i don't know what happened So as the chemistry get more advanced, people are getting the knowledge of the uh, how to modify the compounds, and in that way, the more effective and more uh, useful drugs were developed. In the parallelly, the accidental discovery of antibiotics was one of the great breakthrough in the his in the history of the medical science. And uh, Alexander Fleming were able to discover the penicillin, and uh, after the addition of chemistry. people have modified the penicillin into the different way and they are getting more effective drugs but if you see all the medical prospects all the drug discovery process these all are the time consuming and these all are actually non rational because you are searching a drug molecules you are trying n number of compounds synthesizing n number of compounds and then getting effective uh, med effective in terms of clinical prospects in few of them so it is a little bit not little bit majority of the things are in the trial and error approach and then you are getting the some medical benefit so if you see the story of drug discovery process it is a long uh, it is a very time consuming and long prospects like first of all you have to go for the target identification that the target selection for that we you have to use the bioinformatics genomics and the uh, Uh, genetic targeting approach then go to the lead discovery means the molecule which could be having the possibility of drug like things and then you go for the medicinal chemistry and after that go for to the in vitro studies in vivo studies all these thing in all the way you can be able to discover the drug molecule and if you see the timeline that the from 15000 of compound to the one fda approved drug is a very con time consuming it takes uh, about 10 to 15 years to come in the market and in that way the drug is highly costly and also it needs a lot of effort to max minimize this effort in such in to certain extent the structure based drug discovery or the modern method of drug discovery comes emerged the modern drug discovery approach is actually different in a way that it could works in the approach to higher to targeting the disease is different like the in the earlier story you can find that the all the drug molecule were discovered on the basis of treatment like if you put the compounds use the compound find positive things then it is considered as a drug if you don't find it is was not so it, all the prospects was based on the outcome but the modern method of drug discovery is actually based on the rationality that first of all we should know what is the disease what are the molecular basis of disease what are the major player of this disease which are responsible for this disease after that you search the target and once you know the target then you can only hit the target by designing a specific molecules so in that way the designing target and all those things very useful and uh, then the uh, computational method again the advent of computational method after 90s it plays great role in the drug discovery process and how it could plays you can see that the drug disc if you see the computer aided drug design it is the design is a inventive process and finding the new medication based on the knowledge of biological target so first in the previous slide i showed you that first we have to dis know the what are the target means we should understand the mechanism of disease and then after studying all the mechanism we could identify the drug target 
perform certain biological assay to validate this yes this is the drug target and then you can search for the inhibitor of that target using the structural biology approach medicinal synthetic medicinal chemistry approach and then evaluation of the drug behavior so in most basic sense drug design involves the design of a small molecule that is complementary in the shape and charge of the biomolecular target with which they interact and you can see here in the picture that how the uh, drug molecule or inhibitor could bind to this specific target and as much as the you can maximize the number of interaction you can maximize the interactive forces that could be the best target best drug molecule or best ligand and then subsequently best drug molecule so the computer added drug discovery actually help to design more specific more potent and more selective drug, drug molecules that could modulate the function of receptor and which results the effective pharmacological effect on the human body now the drug discovery is classified into two groups mainly one is the target based and one is the ligand based in the target based drug discovery receptor structure is known mechanism is known that how the receptor works and ligand and their biological activities are known so the main objective of structure based drug discovery is to improve the drug efficacy in the other way around the ligand based approach where the receptor structure is not known but mechanism is sometimes known and not known but the ligand and their biological activity are known so if you know that certain ligand having the certain kind of biological activity like you know that say compound having the analgesic effect antipyretic effect then we can use the structure based discovery to search the molecule within the lab there are many things could be used in the different way i will talk in the later so overall the main goal of a structure based drug discovery is to improve the binding affinity sometimes you have the drug molecule sometimes you have the inhibitors but their binding affinity are weak or not in such a not sufficient so in that case the structure based drug discovery help you to improve the binding affinity similarly it help to improve the synthetic accessibility synthetic accessibility means that you the source of chem chemical or source of the synthesis should be easy and the your product should be very in a good 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 quantity and most challenging thing is the specificity because protein molecule they always have tendency to bind the small molecule but the specificity of the ligand could all be a major player in that for terms of drug because the our main aim is to improve the specificity in such a way that the the design inhibitor could bind to a specific target not to the off targets so off target selectivity is the major concern and that's why the drugs which have the high high specificity would be considered the more uh, and better drugs and of course the admit properties is always necessary to improve only the novelty of the molecule because for all the patent purpose and all these thing the novelty is a greater role now if you go to the scenario of the drug discovery there are four possible ways that you have two thing in your hand one is the ligand one is the receptor receptor is some most of the time protein then either you have the their known structure or unknown structure for example if you have known ligand a structure of ligand is known and a structure of protein is known then the structure based drug discovery or you talk about the protein ligand docking that could works but in the other case if the ligand structure is known but protein structure is not known in that case the ligand based drug design work like the high throughput screening qsar virtual screening pharmacophore modeling all these approach we undertake in the third scenario there is a protein structure is known but ligand is unknown in that case we go for the de novo design and if there is nothing known like the neither ligand structure is known neither protein is known in that case computer aided discovery is not applicable so the main focus of this lecture will be on the first and uh, first uh, column that uh, like the protein structure is known and uh, in another case ligand structure is known now this through this slide i want to highlight all the major aspect of drug discovery you can see care, listen carefully that uh, in the uh, structure based drug discovery there should be two two thing in your hand one thing is that target enzyme or receptor target are most of the time enzyme or receptor so you first select the target then you should have the knowledge of three dimensional structure of the protein or receptor either by the crystallography or by nmr or by electron microscope cryo electron microscopy 
and subsequently homology modeling sometime if you don't have a structure by any means then you have to compromise with the homology modeling in the second part you should have the compound now you can get compound from the different databases compound databases microbial broth plant extract commentorial libraries then ultimately you have to select the lead molecule so from the plant source you from the library's source you can get the structure of the ligand and from the protein source you get the structure of the target and then you go for the re ligand receptor complex formation by the docking the other way around is the ligand based drug discovery you can go for the 3d qsr that you can um, establish the qsr and through that you can get the many new compounds in your hand and after that you can go the third approach is to you go to the 3d ligand database and by all the means you should have the protein receptor um, i mean receptor and the ligand inhibitor together and do the docking from the docking you could be able to select the best compound and the best compound means the best in the terms of binding affinity in terms of selectivity in terms of the uh, in critical residue binding all these things then you once you know the all these things on the computer then you go for the Improve, uh, redesign and improve the specificity and ultimately go for the testing through the experimental studies so the main concern is that the structure based drug discovery actually solve your basic major problem that you need not to screen or do the experiment on the thousands of compound millions of compound instead you are going to work on the certain compounds that already tested at certain level that it is could be a possible inhibitor now the since my lecture is mostly focused towards the methodology so i'll talk about the methodology how you can do it literally so if you want to go for the docking you first go to the prepared pre preparation of the ligand you search the ligand from the library and then from the ligand you have to go for the conversion that the most of the time in the ligand structure is available in different format so it should be converted into pdb qt format and also we should do the ligand analysis in the meantime because the knowledge of ligand should be very critical like the what are the molecular descriptor descriptor are the actually the chemical features biochemical features of the ligand and also you should predict the admit properties admit is the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion that the tells you about the drug likeness so if you do your ligand is not having the drug likeness then you can immediately throw it i mean you do, should not con uh, take in your studies so for example if you are going to screen the 10000s compound or 100000s of compound first go for the admit prediction and drug likeness prediction and then you can remove all those compound which are not having the drug like properties so it will immediately lower down your burden then second part is the receptor preparation for the receptor preparation you must know where is the binding site and for all the student i recommend that whenever you go for the docking people are always in hurry that i'm going to do the docking no first you should go read the paper from where the crystal structure of that protein has been published because in the crystal structure you will be able to know the significance of a structure what are the active site residue what are the binding site residue which residue are critically important for function which are residue are critically important for the catalysis all these thing you first study so everything is in your mind that on which protein i'm going to don't take it blindly that you are going to take any protein and start working so first you should read carefully the paper and there are several tools that will help you to find the q like q site finder help you to predict the binding site all those thing but first and foremost criteria that you must read the paper in which the crystal structure has been published after that you do the analysis and if you don't have uh, i mean the uh, crystal structure go to the modeling and at least you should read the related paper so once your ligand is ready protein is ready now you go for the docking dock for the docking you there is a several tool and from that tool you will be able to submit the job and you will get the out, output file after getting the output file you should know how to analyze the output file because it is simple the number game but how this number are comes like you always get the docking score and people have perception that minus 7 minus 8 is good minus 9 minus 10 is very good minus 10 is excellent like that we have a perception but as a student you should know that what are the reason how this value comes 
comes that you should be able to know before going to that i give you some very basic concept that how actually we design the compound so for the designing a compound you should first study the receptor that i told you to must read the paper so immediately in, similarly you should first map the receptor that you can see here the i'm showing a very simple example that the blue and red colors are the simply the charge uh, charge residue and uh, you can see this is the positive charge and negative charge residue and then there is a coordinate dis uh, distance between these residue are, uh, are distance and angle was measured and accordingly a possible ligand was uh, coordinate for a possible ligand was generated and that now you can see that what are the ligand having this kind of a structural information and based on that you can search the library and then try to fit and you can see here in the fourth figure that the compound are showing the excellent binding and fit to forming a lot of interactions so here you can see that the interaction uh, formed between the compound so the protein ligand binding there are two very important parameter one is the charge parameter should be is always the attractive so at, uh, bearing attractive forces that's what the we first concern is that there should be the charge complementarity in addition there should be a shape complementarity like the molecule should be fitted into the deeper cavity having chances to get the more accommodated more preferably having the high chance of inhibition and having the num more number of forces so the both shape complementarity and charge complementarity uh, plays equally important role in the their discovery like here in this figure I, you can see here the starting compound was generated based on the charge and shape complementarity now once you analyze the structure you immediately able to, to know that what are the gaps so if we'll be able to fill the some electron pair donor electron pair acceptor hydrogen bond donor acceptor sometime hydrophobic things and based on that this needs a several process of iteration and in fact your software will help you that what kind of atom could be added and subsequently you are getting the second figure that the compound are showing the very good binding and it will be accommodated very well in the binding cavity so this is the actually basic protocol when we do the structure based drug discovery and in that way we will we try to search or identify the best compounds from the pool of the library now i'll start my i think now you are aware with the basic concept of drug discovery so i'll going to talk about the molecular docking this is the process that involves the placing of molecule into the appropriate configuration to interact with the receptor and the prediction to the optimal, optimal physical configuration and energy between the two molecules so the docking will actually help you that uh, uh, or in fact the docking the main role of docking is the how the binding between two molecule and their orientation maximizes the interaction and evaluate their total energy means the how much energy will be liberated if the two molecule get bind and that is a form of the score and the resultant structure sometime after docking to accommodate the ligand molecule protein gets certain amount of the conformational changes to accommodate that ligand so what are the structural changes occurs in the receptor so docking have a lot of uses like the main uses of the protein ligand docking is the screening means the you have to screen uh, millions of compound and thousands of compound so you if you go for the experimental studies it takes a lot of time effort but here you don't need much time don't need much effort because simply you are virtually taking the chemical structure of the compound and predicting whether this compound is binding to our receptor or not in that way condor rocking is the highly useful and the second is the post prediction for example we know that compound a bind to protein b but what are the way on what way it could bind so to solve several biological problems are solved by the docking by understanding the pose of the compounds to the binding cavity or the binding with the certain receptors so virtual screening as i told you it is the simply the screening of is the computational or in silico analog of biological screening so there is biological screening also you take the uh, compound in uh, one panel and screen with the, all the different compounds and see what are the binding but again it is tedious job so the virtual screening is actually you are taking everything in computer and then you are screening 
and it, it, then after docking you actually score rank and filter the set of structure using a one or more computational procedure means based on the docking score you can rank the compound and best compound could be selected so actually it help you to decide help you to decide compounds to a screen experimentally it means that if uh, from the millions of compound you don't need to do the millions of studies you have to do only 10 or 15 studies because it will make your just just like the gps for example if you are traveling through a car at a known place if you don't know you will try to all the road and ultimately you have you just see how it is to reach the station but for the if you have the gps in your system then what will happen it will guide you to where you have to go so in the same fashion actually this is the virtual screening a uh, docking will help you to guide the what kind of compound could be processed for the further experimental procedure and then which libraries to be synthesized means the what kind of compound could be synthesized and uh, sometimes which sometimes compounds are available you need only to purchase from the company so that will also helpful that, that you don't need to go for the synthesis immediately directly if in fact you go to the if you go to the pubchem it will give you the vendor's number email id all these things you can directly get the code from the vendor and analyze the results so first you know that what are the docking programs are available so the docking programs are based on the different methods the docking programs are available like the matching of the description dock q dock slide are available then the incremental construction i will tell you how the incremental construction will work in that the flex is the one of the very acceptable tool docking tool and some tools are based on the monte carlo simulation enabling in this we can take the auto dock and mc dock are available and these are like the genetic based on the genetic algorithm one of the method for the scoring function the gold is one of the most widely used tool in the lab so if you see how the docking software actually work so docking software actually work in the three way three components of the all the docking server uh, software so first is the molecular representation the way to represent the structure and properties like the atomic surface grid representation second component is the scoring method that the method to assess the quality of dog complex like how binding affinity calculated or measured so scoring function is one of the major algorithm or major component of the drug discovery uh, docking and the third is the searching algorithm that an efficient search algorithm that decides which pose have to be generated that is based on the exhaustive search monte carlo simulation genetic algorithm sim simulated annealing so if you talk about the representation there are three representation commonly used in the docking program the atomic representation the surface representation the grid representation and the choice of representation dictates the way of docking problem algorithm of the docking is actually provide are of mainly two types but uh, sometimes three types one is the qualitative that the it will give you the idea about the geometry and shape complementary of the fitting that how accurately that like initially i told you that the docking software is docking uh, binding of compound is based on the shape and charge complementarity so how exactly how in the best way the compound is fitted to the receptors and the quantitative terms means the energy calculation means how much energy released or determine the global minimum energy or we can measure the free energy like it gives free energy and the third approach is the hybrid that the both shape and charge complementarity energy parameters are considered in the docking like the we can see here the example of the geometric algorithm like the three different way or the three different algorithm works like one in the case of dog the protein cavity filled with the overlapping spheres and feature point sphere centered colored according to the physical chemical properties the second is the <coughs> surflex and that uh, is the cluster of the probe std polar and the it's mainly focus on the chart thing and flex is the interaction center and the and the interaction surface identified in both the receptor like the hydrogen bond donor salt bridge aromaticity methyl aromatic amide so these are the three main geometric algorithm 
now it uh, actually these things every slide needs a complete class on this so i'm just going your brief to give you your brief description the second part is the scoring method so scoring method aim to assessing the quality of dog complex and guiding the dog algorithm that how effective is the binding between the receptor and ligands so the binding process that lead to the formation of a complex between a ligand and receptor is controlled by several factor interaction energy dissolution energy solvation energy entropic factor these thing actually convert into the form of a score and the final energy of the binding will be depend on the overall balance between these two these factors like shape and chemical complementarity score empirical scoring force field scoring knowledge based scoring consensus scoring so there are different way to calculate the scoring function so i am giving you only the example of empirical scoring so the actually if you see the interaction for example you talk about the interaction then the interactions are of different type like the most commonly the electrostatic interaction hydrogen bond van der waal interaction hydrophobic interaction now these all these interaction are guided by the distance and the bond angle bond length not only this the environment of the system then also the how many num in numbers for example one hydrogen bond energy is different from the hydrophobic interaction and it is different from the van der waal interaction so based on the bonding energy bond energy of the electrostatic in different interaction the scoring function could be generated so empirical scoring is actually described in terms of delta g delta g not plus delta g of rotational plus number of rotational bonds similar to delta g of hydrogen bonds similar delta g of ionic interaction delta g of aromatic interaction delta g so it is actually this integrated sum of the all types of interactions happens between the ligand and in protein binding so actually the delta g rotational give you the idea of the loss of entropy during the binding then the delta g of hydrogen bonding delta g of ionic interaction delta g of aromatic interaction delta g of hydrophobic interaction now come to the method exactly if you go for the autodoc vena so how you can do the autodoc vena most commonly used and free software so you can download the autodoc vena in your computer and you for docking you assign the charge to the molecule ligand first you prepare the ligand that you assign the charge define the number of rotatable bonds uh, then the rename the aromatic carbons merge the non polar hydrogens and write in the form of pdb qt file since i have only one hour so i can't give you demo but uh, if you go for the vena there is a video and everything is available here so the all the way you have to follow this protocol similarly to download the pdb protein structure from the pdb file and pdb source and then or if you don't have pdb file then you have to model the structure ultimately you have to pdb a structure in the form of pdb file then you add the essential hydrogen atoms load the charges merge the ion pairs add solvation parameter and again write the pdb qt files once your pdb qt file is ready now you go for the docking so before going to dock you should assign the grid grid is very important parameter for the docking and sometimes a student take very not are not taking seriously the grid parameter and randomly we select the grid so the grid is actually defined that what are the in which region you want to dock your compound or where is the binding site so there are two approach sometimes we do the blind docking means that we can select all the structure and say the comp ask the compound to bind wherever you are comfortable so in that way the compound actually the uh, mimics the biological system and compound bind wherever it get the best binding cavity or best binding partner however in the defined docking we should first define the which region you have to bind so in that case your grid size will be low and the grid size if your grid size will be low you are forcing the molecule to bind it there or you can check that whether the compound is binding here or not so both the the docking procedure have their own significance so you, you should know that what and how i am actually going to do the defining the grid and you can see here the grid size could be defined like that and if we the, in the y x in this side you can see the parameter you can change the grid and ultimately once your grid is defined now you can simply go for the docking and then your docking results will come 
so in that way is generally performed so now i'm going to i think uh, i have time yeah so now i'm going to talk about the software that we have developed in our lab this is known as instadoc the name is inspired by the instant doc means the immediately you can doc and this, this software developed by my phd student and one of the my msc student who did dissertation and in the dissertation he both the guys have developed this software and this paper is recently published in one of the great journal of the bioinformatics briefing bioinformatics that having impact factor more than nine it is one of the classical journal in the field of computational biology so what we felt that uh, most of the people are not much aware of with the docking and thinking that docking is a very big thing or we can't do and if they are going to do they, they if they see this kind of a screen a student get have a situation okay i can't do and all these things so in that by seeing all these things we developed a docking algorithm that could be very user friendly so what you can do that the you know this uh, software actually explore the protein ligand interaction using molecular docking and uh, it applies the virtual high throughput screening libraries containing millions of compounds together and uh, several free however the several free uh, commercial available server are available but the it needs the skilled person so quite challenging for an expert to perform the virtual docking so what we have done, we have developed this InstaDoc, a free open access global user interface program that performs docking and screening efficiently. So in the first part, that it took, took the ligand from the library, a structure optimization, set the torsion. Then the second thing, the 3D structure of the target, it do the structure optimization, protonation, binding site determination, grid construction, and then perform the docking. And after docking, the binding affinity will be estimated by the scoring function, binding post prediction, and then post selection, and a specific interaction could also be highlighted. Based on that, the hit could be selected. So you, you can see here that if you download the InstaDoc in your computer, the, your screen looks like this, and from the start bar, you can do. So you just simply, this is a single doc uh, GUI program, especially for the convenience of the non-bioinformatician. It facilitates onboard analysis of docking and visual results in just a single click. It is the easiest way and more interactive interface and a straightforward inter interaction could be calculated. So how you can see the, this work once you start, you can see the define the number of hits and then you can uh, like you have the tools for the file converter all these things you can in fact see this just simply download browse the ligand file browse the uh, receptor file and then you run the docking and they, even you can see the visualization also like that it is having the integrated visualization so it actually integrates several python program developed by us and few third party programs for the integration execution and the visualization so for running this software you don't need to have the very high computer simple computer with the window operating system and uh, then the coordinate uh, file of the receptor and ligand simply in the form of the pdb sdf and whatever you don't even need to format the change the format of the pdb file and just simply start so how it do actually what are the workflow that uh, for example if you have the compound library it first pre-process the input file then the grid preparation and then docking calculation and scoring and i finally perform uh, interaction analysis This is the pipeline, how it perform actually. So first the input file is the receptor and ligand structure, then the processing. Processing I already discussed and finally you get the output file. From the output file, the best advantage that you are getting binding affinity directly, you getting the inhibition constant, you get the like end efficiency. And of course you can see the structure directly, you can visualize the structure. So everything is built up in the one system. Just I'm giving software so this is the single kill click execution automatic docking program automated detection of the receptor and ligand structure receptor pre-processing coordinate preparation and configuration generation 
and pre-process of the ligand management and their collection. It also inspect your receptor and structure. If any uh, structural error, it could highlight you that your structure is not good. So you have to change, it, do the certain requirement. It allows the special constraints and user defined input parameter. Then the graphical management for the job and real time progress and automated retrieval and pre-processing of the results. It is user friendly filtering for the virtual screen results, onboard visualization and complex making. For example, most of the people are from the non bioinformatics background. They don't know how to write the paper in the paper, how to write the method and how to write the structure. So based on the structure, this software automatically write some content of the method and some component of results and give you the figure and uh, it is in the word format you will get and then accordingly you can change of course it will be the same so to remove the play but it will give you the write-up also the best part of the software is that so in fact uh, not uh, this is the combination of uh, even you for go for the single tool analysis also you can use this software like the for example if you want to only prepare the receptor or you want to only generate the, the configuration like the only file convert you want to do sometimes you need to file convert you want to hit identify so if sometime you want to inspect the pdb so even if this works as a stone a standalone tool like that if you want to inspect the pdb missing residue heteroatoms water molecules chain any other all these analysis this can do then we compared with the other available uh, docking server and we tried to compare that in how superior to this so you can see here all the parameter and all these things in all the way we find that our tool is as good as uh, to all the well uh, most commonly used software in the market in terms of efficacy in terms of uh, searching in terms of algorithm but the best part is that we are most automated and our software is the most user friendly. And the application of this tool is the, of course, molecular docking you can use, then virtual screen you can do, interaction analysis, structure visualization, and PDB inspection. And just uh, one month has been, uh, the 400 users so far have registered to this software. Uh, to our website from the different countries you can see here the global map and this is the outlook overall outlook of this software so <clears throat> not only this is available freely available to as you can directly go to the my lab website hasanlab.org and you can download it from there and then you can use directly and you can if you want to read the paper this is published in the briefing in bioinformatics and at last, I would like to thank my all the students, especially Taj Muhammad, who have developed this work, <coughs> this uh, tool. However, these all are the my lab members, and uh, our work is funded by our lab is actually funded by different funding agencies. So far, the projects from ICMR, DHR, CCRUM, NMPB, and CSR are running in my lab. At last, I thank all the participants, audience, and Dr. Yasha Hasija for giving me chance to present my tool in front of all the esteemed audience across the globe. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much sir, for your nice presentation. And uh, sir, uh, we have a question from yeah. some students, from some participants, that if they can use this, uh, or, uh, no, I guess they got their answer, sir. So they will. Yeah, you can just share my lab uh, URL to uh, all the participants. And uh, they, everything is there, and they want to contact, they can contact if they are they can raise the question there if they will if you are facing any problem while using the software they can directly get connected from there also okay so we'll uh, share the link of your uh, lab to our yeah. youtube uh, channel uh, your yeah. link i'm just putting the in your chat box so you yes. can
So this is a link you can share. Everything is there. Okay, sir. So, uh, sir, I can also share our uh, YouTube chat box uh, link with you, so I can uh, directly look at the participants' questions uh, or the comments. So I'm sharing it with on the uh, Google Meet uh, chat, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Oh, I need to sign in to answer their question. Yes, there are many questions. Let me sign in and then I could answer. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, if you have any problem, then I can also read out to you, sir. No, no, I, am reading, I am reading. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Actually, I am unable to answer them all the <laughs> I'm using the my university ID so they won't allow. Yeah, I think it is done now. Yes, so what are the Barkha single is the software works well to the live and prepared by the homology modeling? I'm answering there, right? So you are uh, live, so you can just uh, say it out loud, and they would. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So, uh, Barkha Gupta, your question is that is the software work for the ligand preparation by home prepare by homology modeling? Yes. The only whatever the structure you prepare by that either through the crystallography and MR or whatever way it works on all the structure. Second question by Suman Shekhar, how can we utilize bioinformatics tool in COVID vaccine production? Yes, there are many tools for the COVID vaccine like you for the most common tool is to identify the epitopes in the different protein structure. And in fact, the identification of epitope is mainly done by the in silico tool. And after that only it could be used uh, uh, people for the proceed for the experiments. Apart from that, there are many things like the class one MSC binding recognition, many things the software as abandonment tools are available. Then is the software work for the ligand prepared by homology mode? Good afternoon, everyone. Which department I am belonging to the Jamia Millia Islamia Center for Basic Science? And uh, you can just uh, visit my URL, you can find all the detail about my lab. I'm just posting you here also. Visit my lab. Sir, if you scroll above, uh, then there are also some questions from the participants. Uh, if you can see. Above? What? Yes, sir, just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Megha, I have one more question, sir. What is the accuracy level of Instadoc? Have your team compared with the? Yes, I shown you the one of the slide that uh, in comparison to the other tools, how much effic effective is our tool? And we find all the way this tool is good. The best part of this tool is that it is very user friendly. Anyone can use. You don't need a very big computer. You don't need to be well trained in the computer biology. So this tool is as good as, and we already compared. And if any, you can see in my slide, also in the paper you can read. I can share you the full length papers link also, so many people can directly download. Because if you go through the PubMed, full length paper may not be available. So I'm giving you the full length of the paper, link for the full length paper. Just give me a, one minute, I'm giving you the full length. Link of the full length paper. Yes. 
so we will post uh, the all the resources given by you in the description uh, box of the lecture so they can directly all the participants can directly look into that right right Yes, they, I got the link. Uh, I am sharing the link so anyone can directly read the paper also. Where the protocol and everything, what are the computational actually algorithm was used, everything is given here. In fact, the script is also available so anybody can. Uh, yes, is there any difference between molecular dog dynamic simulation? Yes, there are too much different. These two things are entirely different. Molecular docking is actually giving you the snapshot of the one snapshot of the binding of the ligand to the receptor. But molecular dynamic simulation gives you the whole dynamics. Like the how the <laughs> compounds are recognized by the receptor till the whether they trajectory or not. So it is the giving the dynamic nature. Docking is the static nature. It will give you the only one snapshot and the dynamic give you the detail of their binding. And uh, for most of the time, we actually combine the docking with the simulation because uh, sometimes in docking, you are getting the false positive results. So we check that whether this docking is okay or not and accurate binding is throughout the trajectory or not. So we do most of the time we do the MD simulation. Then can you we use this software to find in enzyme interaction with substrate and cofactor yes you can do you can take the structure of uh, substrate or a structure of cofactor and then you can do the docking and you can be able to water the mode of interactions is it possible to perform the specific docking yes you can perform the specific docking like the, only you can change the grid size And there is from Department of Bioinformatics in Jamia. Is there any difference? They died. So, any question, Neha? You can see if any question lie left. You can, uh, because no, I'm also sir, reading the. Yeah, so I guess we are done with the questions. Uh, I guess you have answered all of yeah. them. Thank you very much, yeah. sir, for your uh, answers uh, of the questions of the participants. And thank you very much, sir, for being here and we would share all the links and the resources you have given us directly to the participants and uh, i guess ma'am is here ma'am yes yes i'm here so um yes so thank you sir for that uh, very okay. excellent talk and i'm sure your talk would have made the participants familiar with structure based drug design and even those uh, who were previously probably hesitant about docking would now be using the tool that has been developed by your laboratory the insta doc and venture into the drug discovery pipeline and many congratulations for the uh, very 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 informative lecture sir thank you and congratulations you too also organizing and completing successful workshop and i hope that student will get benefited thank you very much and see you again maybe then the next time Sure. Thank you, sir. So, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So, a little uh, announcement for the participants that we will start our valedictory session at uh, 3.30. And uh, I request you all to be ready. We will also share the feedback form link in the valedictory session. So, please fill your names and email addresses carefully so you can receive your e-certificate correctly. And till then, thank you very much. So, we'll meet you at 3.30. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, we have shared uh, the valedictory session uh, 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 link is in the playlist section. You can also like go there and like just watch, uh, save it for the 3:30 p.m. The, the YouTube will give you a notification when you when we get live. So thank you very much. Hope you will be happy with our efforts.